what happened in the 60s, it's one of the richest decade if we look back at history. I don't think a decade has ever seen different movements start with such energy in one moment. And what happens with drawings is we see for the first time artists really looking at drawings as a full achieved work of art. If you go through the exhibition and you pin drawings that are 1960, you will go from a Twombly to an extraordinary Joe Bear to an unusual Frank Stella to the Barn and Newman. And so suddenly you see works that each of them were at the beginning of a new departure, of a new movement. The 60s clearly were a turbulent time. I think the extraordinary thing about so many of these drawings is how serene and contemplative they are. The sensitive, delicate Eva Hesse Wash drawings and Dorothea Rockburn's sandpaper drawings, which are totally unknown, very, very moving to me, are the three Ellsworth Kelly drawings. They're hanging together and they came directly from Ellsworth and Jack. They lent them to us from their private collection. A very important drawing certainly is Jasper Johns's Wilderness II. Very veiled in a certain way, he cast his right hand in acrylic, holding a cloth, and it's almost as though he's made this drawing and he's just about to cross it all out and take it away from you. And yet it's completely mesmerizing and enveloping. Collaboration with artists is always the most enriching and rewarding moment of an exhibition. And Sophia Lewitt and the Sol Lewitt estate was very excited at the idea that we would recreate a work that has not been seen in the many retrospective. This one was shown for the last time in 1969 at Virginia Duan Gallery in Los Angeles. So in on one side it was a challenge because of course many years have passed, but Sol was so precise in his documentation that his team who works with the foundation came here. It was a very long process. It's, I think, four or five people for three weeks. It has all the characteristics of the 60s and it's dated the end of the 60s. So it has the color coming out of pop. It has the rigor of minimalism. It does also have a strong conceptual meaning to it. It's one of the most detailed, most obsessive drawing that you've ever seen. It took a lot of labor of love, but I think the result is extraordinary. What we tried to do in this exhibition is not have it be an encyclopedic view, but specifically drawings that were innovative, works that rose to the surface of all the drawings that were being done and influenced the next generation of artists. I don't think any epoch has had the numbers of artists, conversation, friendships, dialogue, moments. So I think what's relevant in this exhibition is to really reflect back and how it really symbolized this extraordinary growth that we see in America in the 60s.